I don't know guys, this is still uh, pretty strong. Strong stonks. Look at the AoE, man. I, I'm hitting like 360 degrees, like all the enemies. Ah, it's still pretty strong. Four player duel. That's it. Ooh. The thing is, this build also has crazy healing. Like, you see, uh, this is like supposed to drag my life. It doesn't really do that all too much. Pits met max tier after the drone bug. A 61k life, that's a little bit. And the whirlwind range just feels like so sweet when it's so small. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, rocking again though. It feels a lot better with unbrand rage. I'm telling you. Kind of hitting the entire screen, which is pretty cool. So you can like kind of go in the middle and hit all of them. I don't know guys, this is still uh, pretty strong. Strong stonks. I mean obviously it has nothing on the dust devil stuff, but um, or on the broken bills. I mean a trillion damage druid and stuff. Look at the AoE, man. I, I'm hitting like 360 degrees, like all the enemies right now. Boom, boom. I almost feel like a ranged build. Almost. What does artillery shrine do? Yeah, artillery shrine is kind of cool. Artillery Shrine for the win. Okay, but now I'm not playing Hoda anymore, but now I'm just playing Artillery. And there was many explosions. Okay, let's see the boss fight without Artillery. <laughs> but this time we'll uh, channel it better. Oh, I have mine up a little. There you go. Killed the boss. I guess a bit more damage here would um, would beat the drill. Ingolith Netherum. Oh yeah, still fits really good. Max life. You can die on the boss. I mean, there's still a lot more toughness you can do, like max the rest a bit, change the setup a bit more. More stuff to min max. But yeah, I mean, it definitely isn't, you know, as strong as it used to be, but that's that's your harder stuff. It's not it's not horrible, and this is basically there's gonna be other versions that I'm gonna cover, and my gear it's not really like that optimized yet, like I didn't get to crit on everything and I'm not really sure like how much uh, size we need here. Like we have a lot of uh, quake size and I'm not sure if all of it is going to be needed. But uh, we'll keep uh, triggering. Uh, highest crits, I think about 100, 100 million-ish. Let me uh, go to the target dummies. And obviously there is a lot of damage you can, you know, scale. Like you might not want the healing, you might like want slaying strike or, you know, like lots of different um, ways to scale your damage just with any holder. And yeah, we're playing the left rune now, which basically after every overpower, uh, we get a 1.3x damage. There's lots of different things you can do. Okay, this is the setup. Right now we're rocking Harlequin's Crest. You might as well just play Numbing Wrath Helm here because it has 20 cooldown and yeah, Shaku does not. Um, Juggernaut's here for max armor. 
um, elements, Tybert's will, um, berserking here on the boots. Then we're rocking a lot of quake size. You can see, like, I can quake here and it hits the enemy. See how crazy it can be? And yeah, we have a lot of attack speed stacked as well right now, like to reach uh, cap in the first bucket. Uh, close enemies, quake. I don't even have good rolls. Like, here there's, like, min rolls and stuff. We have grandfather, though. But you kind of don't really need grandfather. You can also just play another, like, quake size stuff. Um, then we're rocking edge master, red furor and the Banished Lord Talisman. This one is also really bad, like it, it hit crit chance, but you don't really need crit chance because you're playing Red Furore. There's actually a huge problem, I think, with their current design um, of how they did it with the Furious Hammer of the Engines, where this is just scaling crit, but you, de you never even need any crit because you're getting all the crit from Furore. And we're playing Expertise, so we actually deliberately uh, played all the stuff they nerfed. Like, we, like we're gonna make a different Hoda version as well. Um, that's gonna also come as a video here soon, but we deliberately like basically just took the um, the version with all the nerfed stuff with Dominate and with Crusher, like just basically like the pretty much the OG uh, WW Hoda where we did AOZ 25 with. And I mean, it's still a, very, it's still a solid build. I just wish they um, changed the rune here to something more interesting. I don't know, like I like the Fury scaling, obviously like it doesn't have to be like 1% per Fury, but I don't know, something interesting, like not crit chance. Like crit chance is completely stupid with Hoda because yeah, you have this red for roaring. So very, very useless. But yeah, DPS seems kind of okay. I mean, still hitting for quite a bit. 100 million hits is, uh, is no joke. And you know, you can like keep hitting like this. It's a lot of fun. Um, skill tree is looking like this. Yeah, if you want, you can go to Duriel. So we have Hammer with the left rune here, because we constantly overpower with um, Earth Striker and uh, our amulet. Then we are rocking uh, Triple Shout. We are rocking um, Berserking Support. A Slaying Strike or Healing, depends. Uh, counter Offensive. Then we have all the stuff socket here. You can actually get a lot of concussion ranks, and this is actually a nice way to stagger the boss. Then we are playing the nerfed Unbridled Rage, 100% more fury. Um, this is how exploits looking. Crusher, Warbringer. Like I didn't take all the max fury because we don't have max fury scaling, so we just took the ones that we need to unlock Warbringer. Uh, then we have Might for more DPS. Ira. You just want to check, like, I didn't even max Ira here because we already have the max Berserking and we have uh, two damage while Berserking rolls already. And um, then we are playing Decimator, we are still playing Dominate, and up here we are playing Weapons Master and Marshal. There's like a lot of variations, but this is basically, you know, the OG Hoda Planner. I mean, this one down here is a bit different because we just added Might in now as well for Multiplies because we don't need all this Berserking damage. Uh, well, it's probably um, better to add more toughness. So right now we have 61k life. You can uh, you can probably get even more stuff. So that's pretty cool. But thank you. And yeah, that's the build. I'll probably do some Duria runs as well here. And uh, yeah. Oh, that still works if you still want to play it. And we'll make some different variations. Because the overpower stuff got nerfed about divided by 11. So instead of a billion, we're hitting now for 100 million. Or not even. So yeah, that's it. Let's go. <laughs> we stacked a bunch of size. Plop, plop. Entire screen just gets evaporated. Yep. I mean, Hoda is still fun to play. Not doubt. Especially with this radio. It's like the Quake visual is not updated. Like, I'm literally hitting not the entire screen, but like half my screen or something. And yeah, it feels really cool. No, no, I like it. I like it. I like it. Here. Smash. 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 Hulk smash. What's this? Yeah, we can also just stand in this, I think. And just smash around. Look, everything that spawns like off screen just dies. Look, they never even get to touch us in the middle. Just hit the air, man. Kill them all. I don't even see the monsters. 
Like, as you can see at the kills. The thing is, this build also has crazy healing. Like, you see, uh, this is, like, supposed to drag my life. It doesn't really do that all too much. Like, we just smash, dude. Right, stay in the middle. Keep smashing. Yeah, I, I think like for the launch, I mean, I'll report this. Uh, they will update the visual and I think this... I don't know, I think it's like 70% of my screen, this wave. I mean, you guys can see where the monsters die. Like, it's very big. This event on the new Helltide is actually uh, very rewarding. And look, we already did uh, kill 300 monsters by now. You can always see by the amount of kills that we make. Okay, 300, boom, done. It's actually insane, this loot. Look at this. Oh, we didn't even flinch much. Ah, two shots this packs. Kind of feels like I will need more movement speed even. Chop, chop, chop. Hot about my friends. He chops it away. And it still feels easier than AOZ. Like a lot easier than AOZ. The build combination is just so good. These monsters, man, they desperately need to have more life. Like a lot more life. As in a lot, a lot more life. Missile Dampener is a bit, a bit annoying, I guess, with Holder. I was wondering how much damage this stuff would do to me. Yeah, it's not a twist up up, guys. Not quite. Maximize uh, Tybert's world's uptime. Okay, it counts. Should have probably dodged that Lilith wave at the end. Well, that was like, what, two minute clear? <laughs> killed the boss, Lilith killed me, it's fine. This has gotta feel so nice and hardcore, dude. Oh yeah, that's the Hotter, my friends. Still strong. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.